Vacations and even staycations have been and continue to be an absolute must in our modern day society. Even as C-19 vaccine distribution slowly rolls out, many have decided that they can no longer be confined to their homes. In fact, one of the social distancing safety measures many travelers are utilizing more now than ever is avoiding potential crowds at hotels and opting for more unique lodging options through services like Airbnb or Verbo. But is one better than the other? Well, let's talk about it. Welcome back everyone, Mrs. H here, and today we're comparing two of the largest and most widely known alternative lodging platforms, Airbnb and Verbo. While they are both very similar in their platform, how reservations are made, host contacting, and cleaning fees, there are some very important ways that they differ that you should be aware of. But before we get started, if you want to be a part of the tribe, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now, if you're still here for it, let's get started. So according to TravelWithThePlan.com, Airbnb was dreamed in 2007, it was born in 2008, and it was rebranded in 2009. Its value proposition was and still is to connect homeowners with travelers looking for short-term rentals. In 2017, Airbnb was said to have hosted 4 million listings in over 190 countries, offering anything from a couch surfing rent-free stay to even an underwater research ship. So they clearly have an incredible network offering various options from which to choose. Verbo, on the other hand, which is short for Vacation Rental by Owner, was established in 1995 and it was acquired by a Vacation Rentals Network in 2006, which added a considerable increase to its market share across greater than 190 countries. However, while Verbo also offers creative rental options like houses, condos, castles, tree houses, and more, unlike Airbnb, you can only rent the entire home. Rather than renting a single room or sharing a space with a host or other guests, Verbo specializes in allowing customers to have private spaces to themselves, which is one of the reasons why Verbo has fewer rentals than Airbnb. They boast about 2 million listings. The general consensus online is that Airbnb is geared toward the adventurous traveler and those looking for shorter trips, while Verbo caters more to families and suited for longer stays. Another very important way Airbnb and Verbo differ is in their safety policy. For example, Verbo has a very specific book with confidence guarantee and a trust and safety page, whereas Airbnb only has a trust and safety page. Now as a side note, it is extremely important that you do your own due diligence and research both of these options to see which option best fits your family's needs but I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a stunning four-bedroom, five-star oceanfront villa with its own private pool and picturesque floor-to-ceiling windows offered by Verbo that you might want to consider on your next trip to Tulum, Mexico. I'll definitely link it below even though we aren't sponsored. So which lodging platform do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below. Now that you're aware, please share. And for more like this coming down the pike, all we ask is that you please like. Above all, be kind. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.